The first person that we're going to talk about as we're thinking about mercy and how God forgives us is a lady called Sarah. Now you can read about her in the Bible and she was married to a man named Abraham and you can start reading about her in Genesis chapter 12 and then keep going until Genesis chapter 23 when we read that Sarah died. But Sarah was Abraham's wife and Abraham was a special friend of God and God had promised him that he would have a family. But Abraham and Sarah had no children and they were getting older and older and Sarah was thinking, well, God has promised but it's not going to happen because here I am, an old lady, and we've got no children. She was, even the Bible tells us, 90 years old. Now that's as old as my mum. And my mum, well, my mum's 91. But if somebody told my mum she was going to have a baby, I think she'd have a shock. One day, it says that there were three men coming to visit Abraham. And Abraham was a nice, kind sort of man. And he said, come in and rest and we'll get you something to eat. And so he said, Sarah, quickly, go and bake some bread. We've got visitors. And so the three men were sitting in the shade of the trees with the feast of fresh bread that Sarah had made. And Sarah then decided, well, we'll leave the men to talk and I'll go back and do some work. Soon she heard the three talking and one said to Abraham, where's your wife Sarah gone? Oh, said Abraham, back into the tent to do some more work, I expect. Sarah's just about to go outside when she heard her name mentioned. And she stood outside the flap of the tent to listen to what was being said. What were they saying about her? The man continued, in nine months time, Sarah will have a baby boy. Abraham gulped and looked amazed. Sarah, who was still listening outside, thought this was just too ridiculous and laughed out loud. But the messengers from God were serious and promised to return in nine months' time once the baby was born. But Sarah was in trouble. She hadn't believed what God had promised her and she'd laughed. But then she made it worse because she tried to say she hadn't laughed. Yes, you did, said God's messenger. And then the three of them left Sarah to think about what it could all mean. She had to wait quite a while for it to happen and she still couldn't believe that it would. A few months later, at the age of 90, Sarah had the baby boy right on time in accordance with what God said. Would you believe it? She called him Isaac and Isaac's name means laughter. And perhaps she was remembering what she did. Instead of believing God, she laughed at him. We need to remember that when God promises us something, he will always do it. He never promises something and doesn't do it. Perhaps you've promised or somebody's promised you something and it doesn't happen. Or maybe somebody's promised you something and you didn't believe it could happen and you laughed about it. And then it did. So perhaps you had to apologise. Sarah did make it right with God and she was sorry for what she'd said and for what she'd done. Not just for laughing, but the worst thing was that she lied about the laughing. So we must remember to... Always believe what God says. Take him at his word because he is going to do what he says he does. And don't forget those words of that song, his mercy. He forgave Sarah, even though she laughed at him. He didn't hold it against her. He forgave her. And it, the fact that she laughed was thrown into that big sea because... He didn't want to remember it anymore and she was truly sorry.